Guys, today I'm doing a favorites video, and no, I did not film my July favorites because I was at my grandma's house at the time. So this is my August favorites, and I don't have that much stuff, but anyway, let's get started. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Guys, so I just tilted my camera up. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Facing my closet right now. Usually you guys see me like and my bed. I'm facing my bed right now. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But I can't really do it the other way. Actually, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start with like the makeup stuff that I do have. First is the 24-hour um, color tattoo by Maybelline and Too Cool. Oops. And I got the white one because I had the toughest taupe one and I hated it. So I like this one a lot better because the other one was too dark and I couldn't wear it every day. This is the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral and I've been wearing this every day. But this is in Candid Coral. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. have it on right now. It's really like summer. More summer than fall. But I'll probably still wear it because it's really beautiful every day. The Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. Oh no, there's one more thing. Got this, um... A while ago, my dog ate it. Actually, my grandma's dog, Scooter, if you saw Pets Point, he stayed with us for about a month. And he ate it, which it's totally natural and stuff. But he actually, my grandma's like, yeah, he ate mine, one of my Burt's Bees ones too. So I guess he likes Burt's Bees. I guess it tastes good. But I bought another one this month. I actually got a whole pack of Burt's Bees stuff. I might do like a little like show and tell video about that and tell you guys how it worked. But it smells really good. I love this. Um definitely like one of my favorite lip balms that has no color just so I could wear it like to bed and stuff the Nivea one has color in it so I can't use it if I'm I don't know I just don't like the little things in it but it's a really good both of these are like my favorite and then I have a lipstick and this one I'm wearing right now which I know the lighting and eh, not gonna really show up so that's why I'm not really showing swatches it's by Mac it's my first Mac lipstick and I actually got it um at the mall so this is in my haul and that haul is pre-filmed I wear this every day to school it's so pretty and it's like it's in cream sheen or no cream cup I hate how they do that they put but it smells so good that's the true color it's really pretty um, my favorite lipstick it's pretty pigmented it's like a light pink it's perfume it's pink ice by rue 21 this is also in the haul so yeah um I have it on today. Or no, maybe I, I forgot. I had to get up early. I had to get up at like 8 today. We went shopping early. Um, and it smells really good. More fruity though. So I might do like a fragrance like review or something if you want me to. Um, and this comes with a lot. This lasts me like forever. I wear like this all over my whole body every day for school. So I've been using this um, Burt's Bees Herbal or Herbal <laughs> Blemish Stick. Um, and I saw um, t -t -t Be Beyond Beauty Star talk about it and I bought it and then um, this is our second purchase of it. It lasts a while. Actually, this one barely lasts us anything because my mom used so much of this. My mom, my sister, and I love this. Um, it smells like, um, tea tree. But you just put it, like, right now and have, like, a problem spot right there. And you just, like, obviously have makeup on that. So it might, like, take it off. Just put it on there. And it really helps. I apply it, like, maybe three times a day. Baby oil. This thing has been used for centuries. Well, not centuries, but you know what I mean. Like, a while to get your makeup off and I love it it works amazing I got this one at the dollar store like a while ago and I stopped using it and I was like eh, I don't really like it you know it smells eh. it smells like babies yay I smell like a baby um and yeah just take a little bit of this on a cotton round and then you just put it down like for like five seconds and like one two three and then I just wipe it off all my eyeshadow is gone like even if you have the best primer in the world on it's gone the mascara is a little bit harder you have to leave it on there for about like 30 seconds and then it will be off um and I wash my face afterwards to get all the um oil off or if you don't want to wash your face you can just use a face wipe random kind of stuff my toothpaste um this is the best toothpaste ever um Colgate Optic Wipe my whole family uses my mom dad and my sister and me or and I all my family my grandma uses it I'm pretty sure my cousins use it like everybody uses it because I remember he came here and he was using it I'm like wow um, it smells really good and it says that it has the same whitening ingredient as um, whitening strips Palmer's cocoa butter and I don't use this like every day well I should but I don't it smells I don't really it smells like kind of like chocolate but the after smell like after you put it on it smells kind of weird um basically i use this for stretch marks the garnier bb cream 
show this in how I applied in a video. I love this. I have been wearing it to school. I didn't wear it on like Thursday or Friday. Oh. The OPI Nail Lacquer in um, I'm Not Really a Waitress. Now, I haven't worn this on my fingernails. I did wear it last year on my fingernails. Um, but my aunt told me to keep this in the fridge, and I actually really like it because this nail wash is kind of old. You know, I've used it for like a year now. And look, like it's still like not like goopy. You know, it's like regular nail polish. It's not like a big string, and I actually have it on my toes right now. And it's really pretty, and I love it. And it hasn't even chipped, like knock on wood. Okay, that moved you guys. Um, It has not chipped, so I'm hoping that it won't. I bring this to my lunch every day, and it tastes so good. Um, an, oh my god, I see myself in the face. That's so embarrassing. It's an orange. I've been loving is honey bunches of oats with cinnamon bunches. Oh my god, this stuff is so, 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 so good. It's like, it's good for you too. Like, here's the nutrition facts. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's only like, how many calories? 120 without milk, 160 with milk. So, yeah. And it only has 1.5 grams of fat. Um, and then for music, I like We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. And then earlier this month, I love Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. And then, um, well, I've loved that for a while. But I love RCL Beauty 101 when she sings It's Amazing. And then um, you could look that up on YouTube. She has a video. Well, not her, but like people did on Tiny Chat. And then I also like Want You Back by Cheryl Lloyd. So... Yeah, oh, and As Long As You Love Me by Justin Biebs. And apps, I love Instagram, so follow me on Instagram, katielove493. It's always in the description box. Everything you possibly can know about this video is in the description box.